Hey everybody, this video is going to be a haul video. I just got back from shopping with my sister and I received this package that I've been waiting for so I thought what a perfect time to do a haul video. So I'll just show you the package first. Um, I got this hot look package today, you can kind of see. And inside of it was a box inside of a box inside of another box. But I got a pair of Chloe sunglasses. I'm so excited. So inside this box was my gorgeous sunglass case. And oh, this is just the most beautiful sunglass case ever. It's got this nice like pebbled effect. Um, like I don't think it's real leather, but it's like a leather type material. It's got gorgeous like brass detailing. It says Chloe on the front. It also has these like little feet on them which is nice because it's going to keep the actual like leather from getting dirty or anything because it like sits up. So I just, I fell in love with the box and then when I opened it, oh my goodness, I just could not wait. I love these. I've been like lusting over them online for a while. A Chloe sale on Hot Look that morning I got the email on my phone. I immediately went on to the website from my phone, like still laying in bed and saw that these sunglasses were on hold and I was so bummed so I got up opened my laptop by the time um, I got on the internet with my laptop they were available again because you know um, I don't know if you're familiar with hot look or not but when you purchase something on the website it holds it in your cart for only 15 minutes so that kinda aggravates me when I'm trying to do a little bit of shopping because it takes me longer than 15 minutes but I saw these it took me a couple seconds to get them into my cart and to purchase them and I have been waiting for them ever since. Um, I think this was at the beginning of the month. Sometimes it takes a little longer for the stuff to ship from them but they are out of New Jersey and I'm on the East Coast so once they do ship it out they send you all the tracking information and it didn't take long for me to get it at all. Um, it's the 22nd today. It's Friday and they shipped it out on the 18th which was I think Tuesday. So. Um, so I also picked up some stuff from Ulta, um, quite a few things. I picked up the Bare Essentials, the Truth palette, which there's a story behind this palette. Um, when I got it, there was, none, there was none for sale. This was a display, and the girl had to rip the acrylic like display off of it to sell it to me. Um, I love my girls at my Ulta because they're so nice. Like I said, she broke the display just to sell me this $30 palette. Um, but I am ever so grateful. Um, and it comes like with a huge mirror and then the sponge applicators. I don't really use those. Um, I'm actually wearing this palette today and I blended it out with patina. Um, but I love it. It's just a gorgeous neutral palette and I hope that's picking up. I can't really see, but I hope that you can see it. It's so pretty. Um, I love it. The bottom color, which I think it's called Fate, um, has some glitter in it. I was surprised because there wasn't any glitter fallout, so I really like that. And sometimes you can get that with the other Bare Essentials, especially because most of them are like pigment. They're loose, so I love that. I also picked up some more face wipes. I love these Yes to Blueberries. Um, or the Yes To line. There's Yes To Carrots, Yes To Tomatoes, Yes To Blueberries, and Yes To Cucumbers. These are my favorite. I love these wipes. They are the Brightening Facial Towelettes with Apple and Lemon Peel. And it says to cleanse and moisturize all in one. 99% natural product. So I love this. These are really nice. So had to get another thing of those. I also, on the recommendation of Samantha, picked up this eye makeup remover. Um, I purchased one to travel with. I'm sure if you guys saw my trip to, like, what I was packing to take to Vegas, you might have seen this in there. Uh, had a little crazy night and spilled all of it, so I had to replace it. So I love this. This, um, like I said, Sam recommended it because it conditions lashes, and she has gorgeous lashes. So look for the green bottle of the L'Oreal Eye Makeup Remover, um, and just make sure it says conditions lashes. So, got that. Um, I had to replace my Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller because it exploded on the airplane. Yeah, a bunch of drama happened when I was traveling. I lost a couple of my makeup products, so I had to replace this as well. Love that one. Uh, I've got some nail polish. I got my address is Hollywood, which is this gorgeous like pink 
color and it's got gold shimmer. It's similar to the My Hut or Yours by Essie, but I thought it was really pretty, so I got it. Um, and I think that was from the, like, travel, I don't know. I don't know what collection that's from. I'm not even going to try to think. They have so many. This one is French Quarter for Your Thoughts. I know this one is from the same collection of it. That's all I can tell you. I don't know the name. I think it's Touring America. Maybe I do know the name. But this came from the same one. It's a darker gray color. Really like that. Um, I also picked up my first Wet n Wild color. You guys will be so proud. Um, I get a lot of requests, like my favorite drugstore products. And I'm not really... I don't want to say that I don't like drugstore products. Um, drugstore products, I have very sensitive skin. And it's irritated and uh, all the time, like if I use products. So usually that's drugstore products that aggravate my skin. I don't know. So this is my first drugstore, which like I said, is the Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow. And it's just in the color Brulee. And it's really pretty. It's similar to Max Brulee. Um, that's why I got it, because I don't own Max Brulee. So I thought, well, I'll try this. If I don't like it, I'll just get the MAC one. And I really like it. The quality is really good. The payoff's nice. And um, it has a really nice, like, powdery, not powdery finish, but it goes on really nice. So got that. And then uh, a bag within a bag. And then I got some more nail polish. So this is the color that I'm wearing at the moment, which my nails are kind of messed up. Um, you can, if you, I don't know if you can tell. It's a blue color. It's called How the Blue Are You. It's really, or no, it's not. I, I changed the name of this color for some reason. It's called How You Blue In, not How the Blue Are You. How You Blue In by OPI. And it's just a gorgeous, dark, jewel tone sapphire color. So I love that. And then I have for my sparkle nail is the Servant Up Sparkle. And I really like this. And I guess it's settled a little bit because it's like clear on one side. But this is similar to the Crown Me already, except it has more of the Aurora Borealis glitters. I'm sure that's picking up on camera. The Crown Me already is more of like a silver glitter, and then this is the Serving Up Sparkle. So if that helps you guys. So I got that, and I saw this, which I think it's been discontinued by OPI, but when I saw it, I scooped it up from my Ulta. It's Black Satin. Um, which I know, I tried to get this a few years ago, and it like sold out super fast, and they didn't have it anywhere else. It was just sitting in this bucket off to the side. And I, I was like, is that really black satin? And it rang up, so I got it real quick, and I love this color. It's gorgeous. So if you like like black jewel-toned colors, you, if you can find that, I don't know, I think you can find it on eBay. I don't know how expensive it is. So last but not least, I went to Sephora. And I got some foundation, which is already in my cube over here. I picked up the Makeup Forever Matte, or Matte Velvet. This is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation, and I am in the color 140. So I love this. I've used it for the past two days, and I really like the application. Um, I am trying out, I know you guys are going to say, she just got the Chanel Aqua Lumiere. But I'm trying to find some foundations that don't have SPF in them, um, that take are like really good for photos. I've noticed that when I have on my Chanel Aqua, it does make my face a little bit lighter. And I'm going to be getting married next year, so when I take all those pictures, I want to make sure that I don't have a lighter face than the rest of my body, especially since it's going to be on the beach. So I'm trying out new foundations, and um, one of my friends told me that they swear by this, and she is a photographer, and she loves this. She recommends this highly. So I decided to pick it up, and I really love it. So um, I'm back to applying it with my Flat Top Kabuki from Sigma, which is the F80. So last but not least is another nail polish, and this is Sugar Plum Fairies Gone Wild. It's OPI for Sephora, and it's just a gorgeous, like, purple, chunky glitter. It's so pretty, and I'm assuming it's for their holiday line. Um, I didn't, this was the only one that I saw, and I was just like, okay, and I didn't look at any of the other ones, because I have way too much nail polish. Um, also, I've been getting so many requests for a 
nail polish collection slash storage video. So I will be filming that soon. Um, I just kind of have to clean up all of my stuff. So um, be on the lookout for that. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good day.